what up what up what up what up my people what's going on happy taco tuesday happy taco tuesday good morning to you all please make sure you hit that like button as you come on in the room you already know how we do make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you bang that notification bell so that you don't miss anything that we have coming up here on the channel all right listen y'all of course, y'all already know what time it is, okay? It's time to get into episode four of season 15 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I'm super excited about um, the episode, and we're going to get into it. And listen, I'm not going to keep y'all long. And then what the reverends say, I'm not going to hold you long. I'm not going to hold you long. But good morning again to everyone. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And of course, like, what you waiting on? Why you ain't? Why you ain't like the video? Why you ain't like the video? Please like the video. Please, please, please. All right, listen again. We're getting into the episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, Candy wasn't there, y'all, but Candy was talked about quite a bit by Miss Marlo Hampton in her confessional. So we're gonna get into that. Now, this episode was called The Book Stops in Birmingham. Child, so they were book, 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 booking it and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about it all. But before we get into any of that, if you would like to show love to the channel, you can. It is going to be scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak today. All right. Good morning to everyone coming in. Make sure you bang the notification bell. Hit that like button. Okay. It's not hard. It's not hard. Push this video up in the algorithm. All right. Let's get into some things, child. Let's get into some things. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Now, the episode opens up with Kenya having rehearsal with Manetta. Now, we know that Manetta is a great, great choreographer, right? She's worked with some of the great, such as Prince. May he rest in peace. Um, but we found that out, right? Now, Kenya is premiering uh, or preparing to do a halftime show, okay? And y'all remember in season 12, Kenya more hair, Kenya more hair, Kenya, Kenya. Okay. Anyway, y'all remember that, right? Y'all remember when she showed up to Mar Marlo's wig launch with the band, with the March Man. Okay, anyway. She comes with the marching band, and as she comes with the marching band child, um, she wants to do this for her opening for the show, right? Now, she then lets us know that none of the ladies know that she is actually doing the halftime show, right? Nobody knows but Manetta. I was like, okay. Now, Kenya... Whew. Now, we're going to get into why I feel like she should have told the ladies in just a minute, all right? And she could, she didn't have to tell them that specific piece, but she should have told them something. Now, can you that she was trying to give Legendary Ball down to the, um, to the, to the Bravo Con and the category was no ma'am, okay? The category was no to the ma'am. Now, we meet, um, Roy. Now, Roy is the guy that Kenya met through Manetta, Okay. Um, and they talk about how they like their relationship and how everything is going. My other talks about it. She says the conversation is getting heated. Kenya says that the man is good in bed. And I was like, okay. 
And she said them Yelp reviews was yelping, okay? So I was here for it. Can you, um, again, has not told the girls about the halftime performance. Then we then get to Sanya and her mom and her sister, and they're sitting down, and Sanya calls her brother-in-law on the phone. Now, we know that Sanya's brother-in-law is right now Sanya's assistant. For me, you know we ain't doing that in the family. I'm not, you, you, that's just not going to happen, okay? Because it always, it always does the wrong thing. But for you to have your sister's husband being a manager is a little strange to me, right? Anyway, they had this conversation. I was very uncomfortable with Sonya really telling him, like, you need to do this. We have to do this. We have to, and I can get it. That's what an assistant does, but it didn't feel comfortable coming from her to him, if that makes sense, because of the sister. Now, they're having a conversation, and Ross is saying it tells her sister that Ross is saying that he wants the Ross to be a Ross household, meaning the sister got to go. And I am i don't know how I really felt about that because I, I do feel like the sister feeling some type of way was valid because your mama and your daddy is there too. So do you have the same energy for your mama and your daddy being in the house? Because it doesn't seem that way as of yet, okay? I'm just keeping it real. And I felt the way when Sonya's mom was telling Sonya's sister, don't take it personal. What? Don't take it personal. Okay, I am going to take this a little bit personal because I've told you how I felt about my husband being your assistant and what you be wanting. and. Also, too, our family dynamic is one thing because we're all living under the same roof. Now, do I think that the sister need to get out and get their own place? Absolutely. I felt like it should have been the same for all of them, right? Number one, because Sonya and Ross has so much going on, it sounds like the, the, the tension between them two will always be noticeable and will cause things to go on in the home. And I don't think it's necessary. So Sonya's sister storms off, you know, she she is feeling some type of way. And Sonya's like, that hurts my feelings, bro. And I'm like, okay, girl. Now, hey to everyone coming in. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Liking that video is a free way of sending it up in the algorithm. So thank you so much. All right. Now, um. So so we hear about that, right? Uh, Sonya says that, or Sonya's sister says that Sonya is self-centered and all of that stuff. And you can kind of see it a little bit. All right. All right, moving on. So we get over to Marlo and the nephews. Now, y'all already know how I feel about Marlo. <laughs> Marlo is still harping on this whole, her nephew passing away and, and candy needing to do this and Candy should have done that and Marlo I just want you to say that your feelings was hurt because Candy didn't offer to pay for the funeral services because at this particular point you are really trying to correlate two points that have nothing to do with each other Marlo sits down Crystal shows up if you don't know who Crystal is Crystal is the, the little sister that the nephews went to go stay with she comes in and they're having a conversation Marlo brings up the fact that Candy has been her friend for 15 years and has never helped her get her record expunged. I'm trying to figure out why you won't. Why would Candy do that? And Ca- Candy don't got no record. So why is she responsible for helping you expunge your record? She then goes on to Twitter and says, oh, I was trying to correlate the fact that you know, I've been friends with Candy for 15. Let me stop you right there. You ain't been friends with Candy in no 15 years, okay? Because you and Candy have always, you have always gone at it with Candy. Come on now, Marlo. We're not even about to do that. So anyway, she didn't feel some type of way because Courtney is the one that got her in contact with, I guess, an, I don't know who, who you contact to get your record expunged. I guess an attorney. And so she's, oh, you know, 
Courtney, thank you so much. You know, I've only known you for such and such. And you've I was like, girl, bye. Marlo is extra, okay? Um, And I'm, I'm going to say this, and I, 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 oh, Jesus. It's given that y'all weren't really close to the nephew. And I really feel like if you was close to your nephew, you wouldn't be trying to make him no storyline. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Really? You wouldn't be trying to make them a story a storyline. Like that, that to me, it just seemed a little weird. And you really couldn't even explain completely the relationship that y'all had. Like it it was weird. Okay. So um Marlo in in, in the simulations about the shootings down to the old lady gang or to the blaze. I don't like the fact that y'all are trying to correlate this with Candy's character because it's not even coming off as, okay, maybe you're hiring people that, you know, just do this type of stuff or whatever the case may be. It's like y'all coming for Candy's character. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I want you to stop correlating. You Listen. If Candy don't want to talk about what's going on because it's a legal matter, that don't even have nothing to do with your nephew, though, Marlo. That's the crazy part. Right? However, I feel like, again, you know, there are some people that, are, that keep saying, yeah, we need to know what's going on. We need to know what's going on. But let's just be completely honest. It's shootings and all kinds of stuff that go on all day, every day at restaurants and everywhere else that we go, right? And I get it. Show your real life. But Candy shows everything. Candy just about shows everything. When it comes to being a mother, when it comes to being a wife. So I don't understand what it is y'all want from her. She says she can't talk about the shooting. And that's just what that is. Whatever. Like, again, Marlo is trying to correlate two things that don't match. Okay? And I'm over. All right. Um, again, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, okay, if you have not done so already. All right, moving on. Now we get to Sheree discussing her fibroids. I think it's, the, listen, I don't know nothing about that stuff. I, I wish her well in regards to that. However, this is what I will say. She explains that she's getting older and she's stating that the fibroids are effing up her love life. Because have you seen her man? Girl, what man, what are you talking about? M Martel? Oh, he does get big dick energy. Mm, I get little dick energy. Sorry, I mean, not sorry, but that's what I get. There's some of the things that Martel do is not big dick energy. Like, it, that's not what it gives. It gives very much small dick. Let me be a little bitch energy. That's what it gives, okay? I'm just being all the way 100, okay? Um, that's just what I feel like when she said, that, I was like, girl, bye. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna move on from Sheree because Sheree really irks me. Um, Sonya is sitting down and you know, her sister is her stylist or her hairstylist. She normally does her hair. Well, her sister didn't show up because she said she got the flu. She then reveals to us that her brother-in-law quit. Girl. I ain't going to say I want to quit either. I'm just saying. Anyway, so we move on to the Birmingham trip. Again, we were going to Birmingham with Kenya and the ladies, right? They all show up at Sheree House for the Birmingham trip. Um, Everyone showed up except for Candy. Candy had a private prior engagement. Um, Marlo shows up late, okay? And... The loyalty that Sonya has for Marlo is really wild to me, considering that y'all haven't really just had anything that would, you know what I'm saying, that would make you put all your trust in her. Like, that's weird to me, but whatever, girl. So we get on down to the Birmingham. We're on the bus. They talk about booty eating, girl. And I was like, what can I say about booty eating, girl? Because I do it. So what, what are we talking about? I'm just saying, Sorry. I, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, 
Um, <laughs> but anyway, they talk about eating booty, and I feel like, listen, whatever you do is what you do. But ain't no judgment, honey. Ain't no judgment. Okay. So, moving on. <laughs> Again, y'all hit that like button. Ooh, I just got a cash app. And guess what, y'all? I like to bump about it. The person I don't want me to say who it was, but I sure thank you. And you know who you are. Let's get it. 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 Oh, okay. Good morning to everyone coming in. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, and we're getting back into it. Now, um, as soon as they get the Birmingham child, they have to take a booking class, right? Because I can't get into the hotel until the specific time. And they take one down to the to the studio. Um, now Marlo, they, 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 they Kenya and and Manetta judge the booking contest, right? Marlo then says, "Ooh, you know I got the mega style in these. Yes, I can't book what I can drop because I got the mega style in these." I was like, "Who is Megan Stallion? You mean Megan?" D stallion. You know, sometimes Marlo just <sighs> anyway. Um now they get to lunch, okay? They go to lunch and Bryce calls Courtney on the phone and Kenya lets us know that she, that he was in twas with her. And Sonya passes the phone to him talking about, oh, you know, do you know we want to show you somebody? And so the producer asked Kenya and her confessionals. If she's ever dated him, she stated no, but back then he looked great. And one of the things I would have to say is I looked up his pictures, honey. Where's the lie? There's not one. I couldn't find one. I couldn't find the lie. He did look good, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. So Saray brings up what all happened at the winery, right? So for her not to be at the winery, I found that odd that she was the one that brought that up. Now, Kenya brings up the fight between Marlo and Drew. And Marlo is pretty much saying, like, girl, you wasn't even there when I had the conversation with Drew. Drew was saying she felt some type of way about the conversation. Now, I noticed something on Twitter. Um, people were defending Marlo, saying, oh, she was staying seated because the producers posted, you know, that she was sitting down in her chair and all this, right? Here's what I what I have to say about that. Excuse me. Stop trying to act like Drew Sedora's feelings in that moment was not was not valid because Marlo hollered in his girl's face, said that she was acting and called her a a, a, a b word and all that kind of stuff. Like, yo, Marlo was on some real creepy type of stuff when it came to Drew in that last, at the winery. We're not even going to do that. Although she started the conversation sitting down, Marlo eventually got up and was hollering all in that girl's face and everything. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Please stop. Y'all y'all be trying to make excuses for for Marlo, and that's not cool. I, I, I can't with that. Okay, so... They end up talking about that, and you know, Kenya and Marlo are going to go back and forth, back and forth. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Marlo, that hacking and going on, you got it all. Oh, Kenya, too, that cough, y'all. Mm-mm. So it's 530, and Kenya tells the ladies that they need to be downstairs at 7 o'clock because they're going to the event, right? Now, they all get in their room, and Sheree is like, girl, this is not even no sweet. Marlo's complaining about the small champagne glasses and how she went up up in arms in the Blue Ridge trip. Now, something I, I do want to make clear, right? I do think that, and again, this is this is alleged because I don't know this to be factual. Um, 
But I do think that they get a certain budget when they go on these trips. Of course, we know production pays for the trip, right? But as far as like the food and stuff like that, I do think a lot of that stuff does come out of their pocket. Um, Considering they may have a certain amount that they can spend. But I think when they go above and beyond, that's done out of their own pocket. We've seen it on Atlanta. We've seen it on Potomac where they do a lot of things out of their own pocket because of, you know, the budget that they receive from the network. So I just wanted to make that clear. Um, So maybe Kingy just didn't feel like doing all of that, um, buying extra stuff. But we've seen plenty of people do it. I really do think, although we know that that's not technically Marlo's trip, I do think that Marlo did um, probably put in a little bit to, you know, to get that, the stuff that they had when they went to Blue Ridge. Um, now the ladies meet up, uh, for the charity event. And this is why I say Kenya needed to let the ladies know so that they can have the right clothing, right? So they could have packed the proper clothing. Um, Mayetta comes down. Kenya's like, girl, that's not charity worthy. But again, I feel like you can be upset with them because you didn't tell them. You didn't tell them. So you can't really be upset with that. And then when they're letting you know that they can change into something else, you want to leave them. Now, one thing I found very interesting is that Mayetta still changed clothes and ended up showing up at the same time as Kenya and them did. Huh? I thought that was a little odd. But anyway, now Marlo says that Kenya shows up. Uh, Marlo and Sonya shows up late. You know, they throw shade at, at, at Kenya. Now, one of the things I also want to say, too, is this wasn't Kenya's event. So about the dress and all of that kind of stuff, I feel like, again, you should have told the people, like, yo, we're going to a charity event. Pack something charity worthy. Because then you get in your confessional and tell the people that it's like you dress up, you do this, this, you dress down to the nines, but then you technically not even dress down to the nines for this particular event. That's just keeping it 100. Um, so, of course, all of the ladies are throwing shade about the event and they get kicked out. Production gets kicked out, right? My thought here is why did production get kicked out of if they knew that production was coming? So was production trying to amp up too much drama and the people wasn't here for it? Or what exactly was it? Because that's kind of what it's giving me. I assumed that they that because they were hyping up the drama, that they may have asked them to leave. I don't know the reason why they asked them to leave, but that's what I thought. Um you know, just seeing it on camera. So you guys definitely have to let me know what you feel about that, okay? Um, Now, the the charity event is over and um, all the ladies are downstairs, the hotel talking, um, Kenya wants to go to bed and Sheree says, oh, let's go to Kenya's room. So they go to Kenya's room, Sheree knocks on the door Marlo is kicking the door. Summer! Summer, come out. Summer, summer, summer. Then she goes all into this rant. Kenya's like, girl, chill out. Like, my daughter is in here. Get Brooklyn another room. Because you, you broken. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. Like, Marlo has done some really outlandish stuff. And I also want to say this about Marlo wanting to expunge her record. Girl, that's not going to stop people from talking about you and your record. I'm just keeping it real. You want to expunge it after 15 years? Come on, girl. 20 some years? What are we expunging it for? And I feel like, again, you're using it as a storyline because people are going to keep bringing that up. That's not going to change. You know? So, this episode, pretty much, I'm going to give this episode a, I'm going to give it an 8, okay? I'm definitely going to give this, actually, I'm going to give this episode a 7.5. I'm sorry. I got to. I got to be real. Um, I'm going to give this episode a 7.5. One of the things that I want to call out is 
the producers. Um, shout out to Jeremy. Shout out to a couple of other people because he wasn't the first person that I saw talk about this. But the producer, Eric, that's on Atlanta and Potomac, because in case if you guys don't know, uh, Atlanta and Potomac have the same production company. Um, all the other ones do not. Like, um, um, not even Married to Medicine. Married to Medicine has a total different production company as well. Um, and so, with that being said, Eric is hired on with um, the production company, which is truly original. Uh, true, truly, truly, true original. I can't get it right off the tongue. Okay. <laughs> But Eric works for them, and a lot of people have called out, you know, the antics that, the, or the patterns that he's showing when it comes to these housewife shows, because the storylines are shriveling up when it comes to what he's trying to do. We said that when when, when it came to Giselle and Candace's situation on Potomac. This situation with Marlo and Candy here, like, it's just always something. And, you know, a lot of people have been calling it out. And so I wanted to bring that up because, like, I don't know. I, I don't know how long he's been hired. I don't know exactly, like, I don't know. But it just does come out very, very, like, bro, what you over there doing? Something ain't here. Something ain't adding up. It ain't cool. It ain't cute. And we got to call it out. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to bring that up as well. Just because it's 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 giving a push. And I'm I'm not here for it. Now, one thing I'll say, though, I'm grateful that Real Housewives of Atlanta hasn't gotten as, as toxic as I felt watching Potomac. That's one thing that I will say. So I'm enjoying the show. I'm not saying cancel either show, actually. Um, I love the house show, so canceling it is not an option for me, right? Because I get up here and I review it, all right? But with that being said, y'all, thank y'all for joining me um, for my Real Housewives of Atlanta recap, okay? Period, point blank. Um, but yeah, I get this episode of 7.5. Um, Marlo had to talk about Candy a lot. Candy wasn't even in the episode. Okay. Um, I'm so glad that we didn't see Martell in this episode. And, you know, I just really hope that we, it dwindles down the amount of times that we see him on camera. Now, listen, y'all, just when we thought everything was over, this is what I want y'all to do. Take a moment, check out these tweets. And y'all let me know how y'all feel about these tweets going back and forth between Marlo and Mangetta down in the comment section, of course. But, um, yeah, y'all check out these tweets. Let me know what y'all think. But with that being said, y'all need y'all to do me a favor. Hit that like button on your way out. Show the channel some love. I appreciate you all for being here, all right, and hearing my take on this. Remember, this is a TV show, and we do not got to fall out about our opinion, all right? So with that being said, y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bang that notification bell. Now, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Um, 
shout out to the givers on the channel. Okay, I'm going to bump with y'all real quick before I go. <laughs> but listen, y'all, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all for being here on the channel. Now, listen, I do have a lot going on as far as like um, personally and as well for the channel. Like um, we're getting ready to do the Hot Topics episodes. I do apologize. Um, our filming schedule last week just did not work out. This week, we're going to bring it to you on Friday. It's going to be the first episode. I'm still super excited about it. I ask that you guys tune in. Um, my guest is going to be uh, the Real Estate Insider. So, guys, please make sure that you are here. All right. On Friday, that episode will drop. Okay. With that being said, I appreciate you all. Um, hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.